hey, someone taught me how to do the horizontal flip. So that's what we got. We are now regular uh, on the regular side of things, I guess, right? So let's see if that works. Uh, it looks like it's back to normal, right? So the flag will be, here we go. You learn something new every day doing this stuff, right? Susan, checking in from Hawaii. Good to see you. Kaylin's in. Good to see you for sure. Jeff is in. How are you, sir? I got to figure out how to get this screen to go away. So give me a second. So I got the video flipped, right? You guys see that. Uh, David's in. Uh, man, how do I get that to go away? Hmm. Ah. Did I just really draw on the screen? Hmm. Learning something new every day. Did I can really do that? Did you know you could draw on the screen? Cool. I did not know that was an option. So now let me figure out how to close this window because I want to try and do that. Um, I want to get that back. All right. So I'm sorry. I'm playing around with this because <clears throat> it's one of those. This is one of those features you can't test unless you're live. Let me see what happens when I click here. If I click here and it goes away, I apologize. All right. Cool. I think I got it. Good to go. Awesome. Awesome. Did I do that? Yeah. All right. So let me go back and see who who popped in while I missed you all while I was playing with the. But you like the verticals better, right? So uh, so I saw Jeff pop in, saw Donna pop in. Paula, good evening to you. David, you're here. Good to see you, sir. Alicia's in. Yvette made it in. Very cool. Vero Beach checking in again. Terry, good evening to you. Uh, Oklahoma checking in. Sue, good to see you. Kathy, hello. Donna, another Donna's in. Jacob is in. Man, I thought, you know, I was curious. Uh, we were talking... Earlier, I was chatting with some of my other folks I work with, and um, I was like, we're going to go live at 10 o'clock, and I was like, I don't know how many people will join because it's Friday night, but you guys are all here. Mar uh, Maria out of Rhode Island's here. Linda, you're here. Good to see you, for sure. Um, let's see. Donna, another a third. We have, oh, sorry, Deborah. The Deborah's in. Sadaf is in. David, no, I'm still on the iPhone. But apparently when you go live, there's a little button right. And see, now it doesn't I can't point because now the points are backwards. But over, how do I point? I see, I don't know how to point to the screen now. It's over there. There's a little button right there. And you can flip this, you can flip the video, which I learned now. I was, um, to, man, I forgot who told me. I'll look it up. But someone from the last show messaged me after and said, hey, I know how to fix that for you. Um, so yeah, very cool. Kaylin's driving up I-80 in Chicago. Very cool. Um, North Alabama. Jeannie is here. I got your email, Jeannie, right? So that I'm pronouncing it properly this time. Um, it was very nice when she taught me how to pronounce her name. She said, I, she said, it's pronounced Jeannie slash I dream of. So I'm like, got it. Uh, Vicky, good evening to you. Uh, Catherine, good to see you. Yeah, we, we every week you need to be here. Or it, and when I say here, I don't mean here as in in Facebook Live. I mean here as in this mental place where this becomes a priority. That's where I want you to be. So thank you for being here, for sure. Uh, Kathy, Joyzy girl on vacation in Florida. Oh, enjoy Florida this time of year. Very cool. Uh, Paula, good evening to you. Yeah, Jeff, did you see I could draw on the screen? I had no idea Lisa's here. Hi, good to see you, Lisa. Uh, Texas, thank God it's Friday. Jennifer, I completely agree with that. Um, yeah, really, I know, right? We're, we're like, the flag is... But see, now what's funny is when I point, it does, yeah, I guess it does point. Uh, the flipped image is... Well, I just, I'm glad the flag is right. You know, that was my first concern, is the flag was always backwards. So now the flag is right. So, so Sunitha, yeah, we get the flag back correctly. Mary Lou from Central Texas, good evening to you. 
Denise is here. How is Iron Man? All good in the house? Patty says hi from Michigan. Uh, you are not at the Matchbox 20 concert in San Diego. So Kristen paid money to go see Matchbox 20 and she's tuned in to here. <sighs> silly. You're silly. Um, Suki is here. Good evening to you. Um, yeah, so draw, I, mean, I don't know. Maybe we'll draw on the screen in a little bit. I didn't even know that was an option. I'm learning. See, again, when you do Facebook Live, you can only test these features when you're live. So we're going to have to test them while we're here. Nashville, Johan, uh, Johanna's in. Kristen is out. I get it. I, I would go see Matchbox 20 as well. Cheryl's here. Um, uh, Jeanette, uh, Janet in Beavertown, Beaverton, Oregon, sitting in a hotel in Boise, Idaho. Very cool. I've been there. Um, North Carolina, Kathy's checking in. Uh, how do you pronounce it? Is it Enza or Enza? How do you pronounce that? Teach me how to pronounce your name phonetically. It's kind of difficult, but teach me. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so Susan, so that's a good point. I'll talk about it during the show. I'm setting up, uh, setting up a couple things. One is Facebook will notify you when I go live if you have notifications set up on Facebook. But now what I've done, I will use Twitter to notify you. So if you're not following Wise Advice on Twitter, you know, if you're not on Twitter, this would probably be an easy one to do. Set up Twitter, a Twitter account, follow Wise Advice, turn on notifications, and I'll start, start putting out this kind of information through Twitter when I go live because um, that's a lot more responsive. So you'll have that. Those are two different ways to get notified when the show is going to be live. So, so Denise, man, I, your family must really, really support you. So I like it. Hello, family. Thank you for listening. Uh, David's on vacation. Uh, Jeannie again is here. So let's see. Jeff is outside with a bonfire. You know, again, I'm not, I am incredibly proud of you guys because this is what it takes to win. The fact that you have all these other things going on, it's Friday night, there's a million things you could be doing, but you're driving to Chicago, you're driving to wherever, you're sitting by a bonfire, you're at Match Matchbox 20, and you're still tuned in here because you're focused on what it is you want to get done, and this is a tool to help you do that. So, man, I'm incredibly proud of you. Yeah. And Yvette, you're right. Friday nights are not what they used to be when we were 18, 19, correct? Patty, good to see you. Welcome to the show. Very first time. Good to see you for sure. Um, uh, so cool. So uh, Diane is here. Very nice. There she is. The first time. All kinds of first time people people here. Marianne, hello. Um, yeah, so Linda's usually by the fire, but yeah, it rained all day. Let's see. Yeah, so the flag does look way better, doesn't it? So have, now we'll have to figure out which camera angle we want to use for the show. You know, like, is that the right camera angle? That may be right there what the camera angle we're going to use. Um, I'm just so incredibly proud of the flag. I, you know, I've always loved the American flag. Um, uh, so Elizabeth has asked me, did you ever feel tired when getting used to eating so much less than previously? I think a normal day before Weight Watchers would have been 60 to 75 points, and then her message cuts out. Um, yeah, if you eat a lot more, this is where you got to start making healthier choices in your food, and the healthier cho choices, uh, I feel tired when I eat crap food now. Uh, when I eat terrible, it makes me exhausted. When I eat well, I have plenty of energy. It doesn't matter the quantity of food, it's the quality of the food that makes me not tired or tired. Uh, Sandra, 10%. That is very cool. I gotta write that down. Sandra, 10%. All right, you're gonna get a shout out during the show because that's gonna be kind of fun. Um, so, Nita, you're not wearing headphones, so your husband's actually hearing you for the first time. So now, um, yep, yeah, I'm. Am I not saying it right still? Man, all this time, I, I no, it's, I, I hope I'm saying it right. Um, yes, yeah, so Catherine, here is not here. He, when I say I'm glad you're here, I mean you're. I'm glad you're here in this mental state. I'm going to make that note too. I'm glad. Cool. 
Um, let's see. Let's see. Man, you guys are full of comments tonight. Take the name Nick, drop the CK, so Ni, then the word Nitha. So it's not Nitha, it's Nitha. Nitha. Right? Am that better? Is it the or the? So type T H U for the, T H E for the. So it's either Nithi or, or Nitha. I'm going with Nitha. Oh, ah, yeah. I need to, um, you, you have to call in. If you have the app, there's a phone number in the app. Call into the app. Uh, you, it'll record it into voicemail. I never answer it. It goes directly to voicemail. It comes into my computer as a voicemail. So if I can't pronounce your name right, call in and say it 18 times slow into the phone. This is how you say my name. And then from that point on, I will play it over and over and over again until I get it. Um, so 54, yeah, thanks, Kathy, for that. 54 is, is my favorite. Uh, I think then 12, then 72, if you have uh, interest in going there. Um, Paula's down 40, 10 to go. Very nice. Uh, cool. So Enza, I said correctly, I think. Um, Nitha. I'm going with that. All right. Let's see. Yeah, just I mean, I said, seriously, when we're done the show, just call into the phone. The, the phone number that's in the app, it's so it is, it's 317-662-4214. 317-662-4214. It really, it's a Google voice number. It goes directly to voicemail. It doesn't even ring. I don't even see it ring. And it comes in as a voicemail, in, as an MP3 into my inbox. So... You could call it a million times. It doesn't it doesn't ring here. I don't even know it. I just come into my inbox and I see that someone called. So certainly you could call in and say whatever you want. And then if it's really fun, I'll splice it into the show at some point. So, um, all right. So, all right. So let's see. Uh, Jeannie's at work. Yep, this is definitely the place. To, Brandy's in here. Hello, Brandy. Good to see you. All right, uh, Stephanie from Rhode Island and Kathy from Illinois. Uh, Brandy just finished movie night, so went from movie night to, to wise advice night. I get that. Yeah, I think I like I like the flag like this for sure. Um, Kaylin, you do not, right? That's pretty cool. I, I I'm not a tattoo. I used to have a tattoo right here. So look, can you see it? I don't know if you can tell. I had a tattoo right. I really did. I had a tattoo right here, uh, and I had it removed with laser. Can you even tell? Can't even see it, can you? So, yep. So I don't. I had one tattoo and got rid of it. All right. Lisa's happy here. So Donna's out of North Carolina. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Nebraska. Deb's checking in from Nebraska. So she's officially at goal with Weight Watchers, but cool. And trying to find your true goal. I love that. That's a great, great job. Um, Brooke, catching it live for the first time. Good to see you. Thank you. Uh, so Paula said, listen to the Disney episode. Yeah, so I, I do still drink Spark. And that's, um, I think I'm drinking too much Spark. Oh, look, there's a red dot. Sorry, squirrel. Uh, I'm drinking too much spark lately. Let me see if I can get rid of the red dot. Hang on. Um, I don't know where that comes from. Let's see. There's another one, but let's go to... There's got to be a way to erase them, right? Hmm. I don't know. Uh oh, sorry. Um. Oh no. All right, cool. Um, sorry again. This is confusing because I don't know how to. Um. All right, Shelby caught it live. So very cool. All right, let's get this show rolling. A lot of people keep checking in. We're at sixty-three people hanging out. Uh, let's get the show on the air, shall we? So here's the deal. Uh, I'll record the show. I'll come back to the show after. 
while the show's going on, interact as much as you want. If there's something specific that you don't understand about the show, you want me to go into greater detail, when the show is over, that would be the point to ask that question um, because what it, during the show, it, I mean, I've been noticing there's like four or 500 comments for each show. I can't go back and read them uh, during the live segment. I read them after the show. So I'll do the show. I'll come back. And once I'm back to you here, that'll be the point to start the conversation over again. Ask me anything you want about the show and we'll do that. So the Denise is saying, what's the word of the day? Um, Susan was in first. Is Susan still here? So Susan gets to pick the word of the day if she's still here. Uh, I'll keep an eye out for that real quick. Otherwise, it will be squirrel. Ooh, that's going to be a tough one. Ha, ah, squirrel. 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 Linda, good to see you. Test one, two, test, uh, Susan says squirrel. How many points is squirrel? All right, I gotta find a way to get squirrel worked in. Um, weekend squirrel pizza, same difference. Three times, oh, come on. You guys aren't even playing fair anymore. <laughs> if you've seen the movie Up, you can work it in, yeah. Um, all right, let's get this thing rolling. I wonder if we need to do this. So here's what's interesting for me now is, no, I can't do that. Uh, what's interesting for me now is because now my, even though it's right for you on the video, everything's backwards. So like when I go to touch the screen, it's on the opposite side of what I'm using. So interesting. And test one, two, mic check, one, two, three, three, four, five, tighten that down, five, four, three, two, one. And test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Sorry about that. Little technical difficulties. All right, here we go. Water time, yeah. I had water a second ago, but I could use some more. Oh, Stephanie, thank you for that. Whew. All right. I am your host, Fat Dag, and you're listening to Wise Advice. My weight loss journey failed when I focused on how. It wasn't until I switched my focus to why that I truly transformed myself. Join the show on the web at fatdag.com. Follow along on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all at Wise Advice. Send in your comments, your questions, and your celebrations, and I'll include them as part of the show. But before we dive in, remember, when you're at a point... Stop eating points. Hey, I'm honored to be your wingman as we walk through this journey together because I believe in you. Well, here we are. Welcome to episode 93 of Wise Advice. And uh, this show just keeps going and going and going. You keep writing in emails. I keep talking about them. That's how this show works. So thank you for that. Always a, always a fun to be here with you. 
Uh, I hang out with you a little bit on Facebook before the show. Then we come into here and we talk about the show. And I want to let you know one thing. How to, a lot of people ask me, how do I know when you go live? And you know, sometimes I don't even know when I'm going to go live. I kind of just, uh, I'm not locked into a specific schedule. I do this when I have time in the evening, and it depends on how my day goes before I can get to it. You know, some days I got a lot going on, and so I want you to know a couple different things. Uh, I do the show live on Facebook. I then take the recording and put it on YouTube. That way, if you're not on Facebook, you still have access to it. If you want to catch it live, you can go into Facebook and you can turn on notifications to get a live notification from Facebook. It'll let you know when I go live. On top of that, what'll happen, if you go to Twitter, if you follow along on Twitter, right now I have Twitter set up. I'm going to start posting tweets that, hey, I'm going live at such and such a time tonight. So you can go into Twitter, follow Wise Advice in Twitter, turn on notifications there, and then those two things will alert you when we go live. So that way, um, you know, there's a lot that goes on between one show versus the next, and I want to make sure you can follow along live. Now, also keep in mind that, you know, there's a good chance that I say I'm going to go live at 10 o'clock and... And all of a sudden, I got this this thing, that, oh, squirrel. And then all of a sudden, we don't go live. So there's a chance, and I'll keep you updated through through Twitter to let you know what's going on there. So out of the gate, Sandra writes in. She joins us on Facebook, and she says, hey, I'm down 10%. Man, what a great celebration. 10% is a lot of work. Uh, you don't get 10% by accident. If you're focused, if you're disciplined, and you're following the plan to the best of your ability, when you get to 10%, what happens is, is you now have proven to yourself you have the ability to get to goal. Sandra, you've done that. You, you know through weekends, through the days, and no matter what comes up in your day, you can continue to get back on plan. You found a way to refocus, and you hit 10%. So if you hit 10%, you can hit goal. That's what I always say. I believe that more than anything. Uh, you have 10%. If you hit 10%, you can get to goal. Now, and the other thing we saw on Facebook before the show is, is that a lot of people say, hey, this is the first time I'm joining you live on Facebook. I'm so glad I'm here. And I want you to know something. I'm glad you're here as well. And I said this to the Facebook crowd, but I want to say it to everybody. I'm glad you're here. And I don't mean here with me hanging out. What I mean is I'm glad you're here in a mental state where you're focused on your journey. And this is a tool that you're continuing to tune into because it helps you along the way. So I'm glad you're here in a mental state where this is the most important thing you've got going on right now and you're focused on what it is you're trying to get done and that will get you to goal. Joe writes in email number one, says, Hi Mike, I can't thank you enough for your great podcast and your other motivational messages you provide through Facebook, your website, uh, and Connect. Your wisdom and humor are a big part of my success in staying mindful and engaged in this lifetime journey. This afternoon, I posted the following message on Connect regarding complacency and the impact it can have on us as we move through this lifestyle change. I at least want you to know what a difference you're making in my journey, and I am forever grateful. Now, complacency, this word captures where I've been the past month or so, so thanks, Fat Dag, for helping me think this through with your recent comments and advice on this topic. It was eye-opening. I have to be honest in saying that I've not been diligent in my tracking and I've gotten sloppy about eating some things that don't belong in my daily plan. And I'm really tired right now and that's caused me to put my days on autopilot so that I can tend to other demands in my life. I can't afford to do that, not even at lifetime. But I know what to do. I need to step back, catch my breath, allow myself time to think about what I'll do to take care of me in the upcoming weeks. Today I have an afternoon to spend on me in solitude for quiet, for some quiet reflection that is really in the important aspect of this journey getting back to a focused mindfulness will help to nip complacency in the bud there just isn't room for that if we're going to be on plan and in the moment each day of this journey it is worth the effort it will take to do because that's as far as i'm concerned there's just not go any going back to the old ways wishing you all a great friday with time this weekend to catch your breath Reset your vision and clear your mind for the work week you need to do to make a better life and be healthier. Best to you, Joe. Joe, that is, uh, that's what this whole journey is about, is staying focused on your goals. 
you know, we, we laugh and we joke. And, and, and of course, the common reference is, is we're very focused. We're very focused. And we all, all of a sudden squirrel. And we lose our focus. It happens to all of us. It's why we need to do as much as we can to have as many tools possible to stay focused on the prize. And so this is just one other tool. Uh, when you reach out and say, you know, that I am a big part of your success in staying mindful and engaged, I want you to know that, no, you are. Right? You're the bigger part than I am because all I am doing is providing a message. You're the one that's acting on the message. You're the one that's staying focused on the message, and you're getting it done. I'm very proud of you for that opportunity for you to, to take care of yourself, to stay focused on yourself. Now, when we talk about complacency, that's my number one pet peeve on this process. And, and it attacks every single one of us, myself included, because we get to a point when all I ever wanted on this journey, when I very first started, I was hoping to be 210 pounds. Man, I, I didn't... I, I got there and I kept going. I didn't expect that to happen. So anything for me under 210 is I have to be very mindful of the complacency trap. And so it attacks every single one of us and we have to understand when it can, where it can, and how to beat it. And we beat it, we, we beat it by looking at different goals and by different things and completely staying focused to the process. Now, uh, you know, you absolutely, what's exactly what you said is true. You have to step back, catch your breath, allow yourself some time to take care of you. What I want you to do when complacency sets in is you have to first understand that it's going to happen. Set up some rules ahead of time for, hey, when I get here, the potential for that to happen is greater. When, when all of a sudden my weight loss is slowed down and I haven't lost any weight in three, four months or whatever timeline is not acceptable to you, that's when you have to kick in the complacency brain and, and there are the complacency plan at that point. And the way to kick your plan is, plan in is, is go back to week one. What did you do week one? What are you, what are you doing now that you weren't doing in the beginning or vice versa? What did you do in the beginning that you're not doing now? If you reset the tracker, if you reset your focus, that's how you get complacency and you beat it. And then the last piece to that is obviously you've got to set a new set of goals and say, you know what, I may be down 70, 80 pounds, wherever it is, but my next goal is I just want to do five more. That's it. I'm focused on the next five pounds. And so that happened to me. I got down to 210, completely happy with where I was, had no desire to go any lower, and, and my leader said, just lose five more pounds. So I did. And then she said, just lose five more pounds. So I did. Just lose five more pounds. So I did. And it ended up being 25 pounds that I ended up losing past where I thought was possible because I focused on a smaller goal of five pounds versus a 25 pound goal that I didn't even think was possible. So Joe, thank you for your email. Keep up the hard work that you're doing because you're absolutely winning and you're getting it done. Gina writes in and says, uh, thanks, Fat Dag. I listened to your podcast on my way to, uh, to work and home. I'm in the Turtle Club. I'm down 20 pounds. My goal for the summer was to maintain that loss. I came home from vacation up almost eight pounds. I knew I didn't want to go to my meeting uh, at all, because, but, so I buckled down. I drank lots of water. I weighed. I made, measured everything, and I got blue dots all week. I got 10,000 steps minimum every single day. I weighed in this morning exactly where I left off. I was actually thinking about your attendance mindset. So regardless of what my weight was this morning, I am going to my meeting. I made it a little happier. Uh, it made it a little happier not to have a gain, though. Thanks for your service to our country and being my personal wingman when I need it the most, Gina. Well, Gina, here we go. Uh, as you know, if you've heard the show, me and the term turtle aren't exactly friends. I, I, it's not a term that I use during my process. But let me explain it because I get some hate mail on it on occasion. Uh, and from folks who are rocking the plan as a turtle club, if you're happy with that term and you're happy with the results you're getting, then own it. Don't let me tell you how to run your journey. So, so you're, you're calling it a turtle club and you're down 20 pounds and you maintain that through the summer. That is fantastic work. Now, if you're not happy with that, right? If you're not happy with the fact that, you know, hey, I'm, I'm only down 20 pounds and, and it's not coming off fast, so therefore, I, and you're using the word, the turtle word as a negative reflection, then at that point, you make some changes to your, to your process. But absolutely, if you're confident with it, 
and that's a term that you're happy with, then I want you to own it. You're absolutely doing that. So uh, you join me on Facebook. I see your comments now. You're, you're, doing, uh, you're doing exactly what you need to do. Uh, the body needs you to just react to it uh, and follow the plan, and that's what you're doing. So keep, keep following the plan, right? You know how to get the blue dots. You know how to work the plan. If you're happy with the results that you're getting, keep doing what you're doing. At the point when you say, you know what, these aren't the results I want, that's the time to shake it up. That's the time to reset. That's the time to kick complacency out and get it done. So thank you for that, and thanks for joining on Facebook. Very, very cool. Cheryl writes in and says, Dear Fat Dag, I signed up for Weight Watchers for the final time on February 28th. Your podcast have been extremely helpful in my now losing over 30 pounds during this time. I am now down 60 pounds from my highest weight. My goal, according to Weight Watchers and my doctor, is to lose 40 more pounds, and I look forward to this healthy Weight Watcher journey. My biggest why is to turn around the chain of events that several health crises I've had due to being obese. I'm a few pounds away from celebrating being overweight. My question for you is, do you have any tips on tackling the binging monster? I do well during the day, but binging takes over most evenings. I've removed all unhealthy food from my home, but the other evening I ate a whole container of baby snacks that I had bought for my granddaughter. They didn't even taste good, but I still ate them. At my Weight Watcher meeting this week, I brought this subject up and most of the people in the room have the same problem. Do you have any suggestions? I've been successfully having about a week's worth of blue dots this past week. I attribute it to my new frame of mind, and that is what I'm treating my weight loss journey as my second job. Each day, I put the time and the effort into meal planning, viewing Connect, listening to Fat Dag, taking lots of notes, including my, including my list of whys, doing a gratitude journal, etc. I'm working it like a boss. Wishing you good focus, Cheryl. Cheryl, uh, this is absolutely something that we, we have to attack. Right? So there is, we, we have a turtle club. Maybe we need a squirrel club. Something that can distract, distract us when we get to that late night binging. You know, so when you're at, at, at all sudden night and, you know, we know how, you know, we, we use the term squirrel and it distracts us and it takes us to a different place in our mind. So what you need to do is you need to find something that you can use in a positive word to do that. So you're sitting late at night, uh, you feel a binge come on, you need something that distracts you. One of the ways to do that is to take a, a, you know, a mental break, pause for a second, and say, is this what I'm really choosing? I've always said it. If you're choosing something, if you make the conscious choice, and you say, hey, I want this. I want this more than anything. I'm willing to own it. I'm willing to track it. I'm willing to write it down. Track it. Own it. Move on. Sometimes the binge comes in and we don't realize what we're doing. And that's the piece I understand. I understand because I've been there as well too. Here's how I want you to work on that. The number one thing is, is that at some point we've all been there or many of us have been there. You start binging. You don't truly realize what you're doing. Or in some cases you know exactly what you're doing and you just don't care in that moment. You almost always care when it's over. So as soon as that event is over, at some point you're going to stop. When that event's over, the first thing you have to do is own every piece of it. You have to understand that exactly what happened is completely normal. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that mindset. It's not a healthy mindset, but there's nothing wrong with you when that happens. So you own it. You write it down. You know, I want you to go and track every single thing that you've eaten to the best of your ability. And I even want you to overestimate if you're not sure. So if you don't even know what you had, do the best you can, track it down as much as you can, and get, um, get it all written down for a couple different reasons. For w Reason number one is, is a couple days later, if that scenario comes up again, two things happen. All of a sudden, you look at you go, hey, that day I had 154 points that night. Okay, and as you're doing that, you're going to start remembering the number and say, oh, uh, maybe. And if the second night you stop at 125 points, well, then you're making progress. So it's important that as soon as you're done with a binge that you couldn't control, you own it, you know that what happened was normal, you track it to the best of your ability, and you get it written down. Now, we come back and we apply the rule of thirds. 
we say, okay, I'm at a points at this point. Clearly, I'm out of points. Uh, and if it, the binge happens in the middle of the day, we still have to get through the rest of the day. I want you to then look at a third of your daily points, figure out what that third number would be, and then try and stay within that window for the remaining meal of the day. You can do that. Uh, always ask yourself, when you're done with the binge, was it worth it? We almost always at that point say, no, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think it was worth it. Now, during the event, it's hard to ask that question. I understand. So the moment you stop, that's when the clarity comes in. When you ask yourself, was it worth it? You say, no, okay, great. Well, let me go track it. Let me go write it down. Let me work on the next time doing it just a little bit better. The last piece I want to throw out there is what we call either the, the apple test, the banana test, the green bean test. At some point in the late at night when the snacking comes on, there's a difference between snacking because I'm hungry and snacking because I'm bored. You need to recognize that difference. And so the question that I want you to ask yourself is when you get up at you know, 10 o'clock at night and you say, hey, you know, I just need something. I just, I just need something to take the edge off. If the answer to that isn't an apple, if it isn't a banana, if it isn't a cup of strawberries, if it isn't a can of green beans, well, then you're not hungry. You're bored. That's right. So, so recognizing the difference will help you understand exactly what's going on. Then if you're bored, find something to do and say, you know what? I'm not hungry, actually. If I'm not hungry enough to cook a can of green beans, I'm not hungry. I'm bored. I either need to go to sleep. I need to go, go tune in, go listen to a previous episode of the podcast. Something to distract my mind. Use the squirrel technique we talked about. Something to distract your brain long enough to forget that you were hungry and go get it done. So thanks for that. Next up, Donna writes in, says, Hi, Mike. First, let me start out by saying thank you so much for doing your podcast and your Facebook Live. I just love listening and seeing this, and of course, what you do to keep our country safe. I have not been in a great, uh, I've not been in a great way for the past few days. My daughter, uh, she's 37, is having some health issues, and I've been going over my points and just binge eating. I track the good, the bad, and the ugly, ugly, but wow, stress makes my mind go to a dark place. It's not good. It's, it's not good at all. I work in a high school. My last day was June 28th. Then summer school opened, and I was back to my regular days. Work July 5th, thank goodness. I've been so stressed out with worrying about my daughter that I forgot to take care of time for me. This is what I did. I listened to your podcast in the morning on my way to work. I do that every day. Now when I get home, after the running around that I need to do, I ride my stationary bike to another one of your podcasts. Now this is big for me. I usually ride my bike 5 to 10 minutes and then I'm off. No, not this time. I find when I do this and I listen to you, I am unstressing. I look out the bedroom window at the park at the back of my apartment. I watch the people walking or running and I have you that I'm listening to I become a little calmer. When I'm calmer, I can be that person for my daughter, and then she becomes calmer. If I love it and I nurture me, I can do the best that I can for my daughter. I know this, but why do I forget it? I have gained for the last three weeks, small ones, but gains all the same. I track, I plan out my meals for the week, and I drink my water, but at night when my mind goes to the dark place of worry, I overeat in my points. So again, I go to the bike and I do your podcast. Uh, this now has become my new normal. Your magnet is on my fridge when you're out of points. Stop eating points. I carry your postcard in my tracker. There are no more going over points. I just want to say thank you. I don't think you really understand how you have helped. I've been on this plan now for 18 months. If not for you, connect in my meetings, I would be lost. I no longer am diabetic. I'm off my meds. My blood pressure is 118 over 76. I can do 5Ks. Uh, yeah, me. Uh, can you believe it? Walking, uh, not running. I have come too far to give up on me. I still have a long way to go, but it's lifetime, right? So the time doesn't matter. Love and keep safe, Donna from Oakland Gardens, New York. Wow. Uh, did you hear the end of your email? The pride that you had in yourself at the end of your email was absolutely beautiful. That's the piece that I love the most. That's the piece that jumped out of me and got my attention. Uh, 
you're you're no longer a diabetic. You're completely off your meds. Your your blood pressure is 118 over 76. You're doing 5Ks. That is incredible work. So let's focus there for sure. Let we need to write that down as a non-scale victory. We need to say, you know what? And I know you haven't, but I want you to continue to focus on that. Now you're absolutely right. We get to the point where where we do have other people that depend on us and we have people who watch everything we do and take notice. So you're, if you're calmer, they're calmer. If you're following the plan, then they are more mindful to the process as well. What I want you to do is I want you to do your best at every moment that you can. And we talked about this all the time that doing your best often means you do the best you can in the scenario that you're in. If you continue to do that, you will have more good days than bad days as you rock the plan. You clearly are getting it done. You clearly know how to stay focused. We do have to understand that the, you know, in your emails while well, you brought up the, the binge that we just talked about, you know, if you're late night snacking, ask yourself, you know, what can and not only ask yourself, but prepare yourself for success by having those options available at night. You know, certainly if it's 10 o'clock at night and you don't have any apples in the house, it doesn't do any good to ask yourself if you want one. So you can prepare yourself for success when you're, when you're doing your best. The days that you're really strong, you set yourself up for success exactly like you did by having the, when you're out of points, stop eating points handy. It's just that just enough to distract you from what you're doing. And it's the exact same thing when you're on the bike and you're going and you're going and it keeps you calmer. It's because your mind has been distracted enough to help you refocus on what it is you want to get done. So you're doing phenomenal work. And, and so here's what I want to talk about too that I'm very proud of. You're, you're no longer diabetic. You're off your meds. Your blood pressure back to 118.76. Uh, I met with the American Heart Association today, had a meeting with them, and, and they informed me of an amazing stat which I didn't even know to be true, but it made perfect sense when they explained it. They said roughly 15% of the entire population who has heart-related issues is due to genetics. The other 85% is our own fault. And you have taken control of your life and you've gotten out of that 85% club and, and you now are living a healthy lifestyle because you were able to stay focused and you're able to get it done. And, and that stat just blew my mind. I had no idea that um, that that was even you know I mean I knew that the number was out there but but only 15 percent of of heart related issues are genetics so so wow that's um, that's crazy good and and again you're beating it so keep up the great work Donna thank you for your email for sure Louise writes in says hi fat dag just wanted to give you my celebration this week I'm coming up on one year anniversary with Weight Watchers it's also that time of year for my health screening at work. I was so disappointed when my cholesterol numbers were not lower, but I've taken your advice and when I did not get the results I wanted, I looked at how I've been working the plan. My food selection is spot on, so I looked at just how much exercise that I'm getting. Now I'm in my 60s and I have some back problems, which is another one of my whys, so I've been sticking to low impact water work. Well this week I've stepped it up and I've added walking to the list. I've gotten myself up and I walked before work the last two weeks. So where's the celebration you say? Well, it's a huge deal for me and this non-morning person to get up early and get it done. Uh, thank you, Louise. Louise, um, wow, that, uh, that's phenomenal work. You've changed your life. If you can change your habits, you can completely change your life. You've done that. Now, we have no control over how our body reacts to the stimulus that we give it. If you know, it's the same exact scenario I use when we hop on the scale is, is I don't want you to set a scale number goal because you can't control the number on the scale. You can only control what you eat. You can only control how much you exercise, but you can't control what your body does when you give it that information. So I don't want you to be disappointed with the actual numbers. I want you to celebrate the fact that you're making the amazing progress and you are up in the morning getting it done and doing it. That's where your focus is. If you put the focus in the right place, it becomes a lot easier to celebrate, and then you understand that you have completely taken control of your life. You are in control here, and you're getting it done. 
So that is a absolutely amazing celebration. One year into your Weight Watcher journey, and uh, and, and you're killing it. So Louise, great job. Keep up the great work. That's absolutely worth celebrating. What is it that you're celebrating? Uh, let's share it on the air. Go to fatdag.com. Click on Listen Now. Send in your celebrations, your comments, your questions. I'll work them in as part of the show. I want you to email in your celebrations because as you heard, when we celebrate together, someone else listening understands that this journey is worth winning. I want you to be proud of what you're doing. Well, that's going to do it for this time. Remember that losing weight and getting healthy has nothing to do with luck. You have to remain disciplined and focused. Set your sights on your goal and go after it. I wish you good focus. Whoop, whoop. Okay, next time we do word of the day, we're not putting a number on it. We're not saying three or four times. We're just saying whatever the word of the day is. Because saying it three times was hard. And there are going to be people listening to this podcast tomorrow that go, that guy is stuck on the squirrel reference and I don't get it. So, so we're done doing that for three times, okay? But we did get it in. We absolutely did get it in. You, you told me to do it, and so I did it. Um, oh, Beth is throwing out the plank challenge. You guys are, you guys are relentless. You're absolutely relentless here. So, so we got squirrel in five times. Angie, thank you. Um, one last squirrel. Yep, got squirrel. Uh, Colleen said we got it in five times, so very cool. Yeah, um, yeah. Let's see, we got so someone said it in four, and someone had it five. But you know, again, I'm probably gonna get emails now, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have you email. Wait, you're gonna have you email um, me your email address, and every time someone writes in with an email says I talked about squirrels too much, I'm forwarding it to you, and then you can provide the response. Okay. Because I get I get emails on people who hate the Turtle Club, I get emails from people who hate that uh, that I beat up on doctor or no I don't beat up on but doctors have a um, whatever you know hard job or however you know I, I I read every email that I get they're fun uh, I understand the journey for all of us is different um, and and there are no there is no right way to to solve it so. Uh, but anyway, so I will forward you all of the email that comes in talking about squirrels. Uh, you know, I'm kidding, of course. I won't do it. Because if you email me in, it's, I'm not sharing it with anybody. That's not fair. If you email it in, it's, uh, it, you know, it's, if you, hey, truly, if you take the time to write in an email, e here's one of my favorite lines that I use. When someone says, uh, when I get, and I don't get a ton, really, honestly. Uh, you know, most of it, 99.9% .9 of everything I get is is a million times supportive it's incredible the support I get um, but on occasion I get one or two of those things sneak in and here's where I go with that if you're taking the time to email me or comment or write in something in a negative light about something I've said something I've did something I misunderstood what that tells me is that I have your attention that you're still focused on your journey. You're focused probably even a little more because now you're focused and you're thinking and you're doing something to counteract that. So if you if you write in and that, I'm going to read it because I'm still proud of you for writing in and taking charge of your own life and I have your attention and that's the only hope is that I get your attention enough so you work the journey and continue working the journey. So anyway, so that's, that's the deal on that. Oh, this is in the way, sorry. Uh, let's see. So what did we miss during the show? Um, yeah, so again, there, there's going to be a whole handful of people that aren't going to understand the squirrel reference. Um, so hopefully, I, I, it'd be interesting to see someone who wasn't on Facebook to see if they, um, if they think it's odd or not. I'm a little self-conscious about it because I think I said it too much. Uh, but I think I worked it in pretty smooth, maybe? We'll see. Uh, we will see. Uh, Barbara, good to see you first time live. Um, yeah, so Catherine, no big deal, right? Yes, you absolutely should. Catherine, so major, she said, Catherine says, major water retention from traveling. Tomorrow's weigh-in day. I know it'll be majorly up. Great. So you still go in? Yes. Yes, you absolutely do. 
Um, and here's why. Because we don't care about the number on the scale. We care about the fact that you work the program properly or not properly. We care about the fact that you go in and you reset your week and you start over. You can only do that by going away in. Now, if it truly is just water retention, then you're going to have an amazing loss the following week if you stay on plan. If you don't go in to get a number, if you don't go in to weigh in, then you won't know how much of it was water and how much of it was, was your hard work the following week. I want you to get it done. I want you to go weigh in. Without a doubt, no question, you're in tomorrow weighing in for sure. Um, 100 squirrels by your 100th. All right, so that now we're getting crazy. 100, I don't think I could say it 100 times in 30 minutes. Um, so, <laughs> so Denise, you're there a lot. So no pie, though. We're making progress, right? Um, yeah, so that's great. So cr thanks, mother-in-law. No pie. Uh, to yummy tomatoes. Very cool. Uh, yeah, so everyone's agreeing that you always go way in. Always go way in. Yep, 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 yep. And that's, Marianne says yeah, you're, that's when you need to go most. I agree. Um, Terry, thank you for that. You know, you got two choices. You can either be positive or you can be negative, but the choice is yours. And uh, it's just way easier to be positive. Uh, let's see. Yes, Paula, thank you for reminding me of that. You weigh the same. That's my, that's my favorite, one of my favorite lines. I have a lot of favorite lines. But you weigh the same whether you, whether you go and get on the scale or not. So getting on the scale just tells you what the number is. And so you can own it and you can make a plan to, if, you, if and that's what I said earlier, if you like the number, then you do what you just did again and you, you do it over. If you don't like the number, then you reset and do something different. Um, but you weigh the same whether you get on the scale or not. It doesn't change. Any, nothing changes by not going. Uh, but you go and you get a chance to refocus. That's, that's what's going. So Brandy, thank you for going as well. Um, that's okay, though. You know, that's okay. And, and so, so what I want you to do when you go, I don't even want you to care about the number. I want you to know that the reason it's up is for water retention. And so you go, you hop on the scale, you sit through the meeting, you participate in the meeting, and then, the, then you, you come back for the meeting, you work the plan really good, you work on seven blue dots for the week, and then you go the next week and you're going to love the number you see next week. So very, very cool. Squirrel. Um... You're right. It may make them. But the other thing I get, Marianne, and this is kind of funny, and I understand that too, but I get a ton of email or a ton of um, comments, I guess, that I don't have Facebook. I don't have Facebook. I don't have Facebook. And, and I get why people don't have Facebook, but right now that's the easiest way for me to put the show out is through Facebook. So um, I'm sure there's a handful of – because the show today was um, – uh, sorry, yesterday, I didn't look today yet. Yesterday was like 9,000 downloads. Uh, so there's 9,000 people listening going – um, yeah, that's great, but I don't do Facebook. So I got to try and figure out a balance here because, um, you know, on Facebook we have 61 people here now, which is very, very cool. Uh, probably another 100 or so will end up catching it on Facebook. But then 9,000 people aren't on Facebook. So uh, I got to kind of keep an eye out for, you know, I love hanging out with you guys, and this part is way more fun. Uh, but for the actual show piece, I probably need to keep it steered in that direction. But so that's why I was curious if I said squirrel too much because, you know, 9,000 people are going to be like, what the heck is he talking about? And 60 of us laugh and go, yeah, he's funny. So, yeah. So, yeah, the, so the word of the day, you challenged me to work it into the podcast, uh, but, you, but you said three times. So that's the new rule. Word of the day is, is I get to pick how many times, but is it, once is the only requirement. Um so very cool. 40 minutes on the exercise bike. Great job. That's very cool. Uh, Paula's out for a thunderstorm. Squirrel Club. I, I did see that. I, I saw the hashtag Squirrel Club. So uh, what is it? Squirrel Club gets nuts. All right. So I'll start looking for that hashtag on Connect. Uh, very fun. I see. So Don says you'll listen to the podcast tomorrow and see what you think, given you had no idea what you were talking about with the whole squirrel thing. Uh, most likely, yeah. So, squirrel. Uh, Jane is tuned in tonight. Last day of vacation, you're out of points. When you're out of points, stop eating points. Um, good. So, that's exactly it. So, go on vacation, enjoy it, be mindful, come back and get on track. 
There's no shame in that. You know, you're going to have to live this program for the rest of your life and you can't expect for the rest of your life you're going to be perfectly on plan. So it's a vacation. Now, now if you're re if you're going to live on vacation every single week, then sure, we at that point we need to figure out a plan to how to how to be better on vacation. But if a vacation is once a year, twice a year, three times a year, eh, it's not that big of a deal. It's the other days I want you to stay focused. So, so that's, you know, Jane, welcome back from vacation. Go get it done. Um, just another data point. Um, <laughs> Daggeroos. So uh, Niva says, good night, Daggeroos. That's funny. Um, so, so Denise, so yeah, so no more apple pie, period. We're done with apple pie unless, unless we have the full list of ingredients. We know exactly how many points it is, and we take a small piece, and we use our, our points to do it. Um, but zucchini, for sure. Uh, zucchini, apples, bananas, strawberries, all that good stuff. Yep, so Jeff, that's exactly why the attendance goal is so important, is you just keep hitting your attendance goals. So hit, hit, hitting your attendance goals is, is right. Uh, Ann says, you arrived late, didn't know about the word of the day, and you thought your comments about scores were fine and hysterical. Now that you know the challenge. So very cool. Squirrel. Um, so Mike uh, Brainy says, what do I do as a daily weighing person and there's no scale on vacation? I leave my scale at home. I enjoy my vacation. I come home and I get on plan. Uh, the first morning back from vacation, I hop on the scale. Just what I do. So I was gone for over Memorial Day was my last uh, vacation. I took my scale with me, but I didn't use it. Uh, I couldn't get it connected to the Internet. So it's my own fault. Uh, and then so, but I did, I brought it home and, and the very first morning, no matter what, you get on the scale because that's what the plan for me is. I get on the scale and, and so three or four days I didn't weigh in. I stayed mindful to some extent. Uh, and then as soon as I got home, the next morning, hop on the scale. So that's it, easy enough. Um, and Colleen makes a great point. Sometimes you think the scale is gonna be higher than, than it actually is. That's very, very true. Um, so yeah, taking a scale, the you know, I, I, at some point I'll start taking mine more with me, but I'm not that tied to it really. It's, um, you know, it's, it's just a data point. Now, if I'm going to go on vacation for four months, yeah, I'm taking it with me, but for a week or two weeks, no, I'll be fine. Uh, uh two either the, the, I'm not going to gain 91 pounds in two weeks. It's impossible. So I don't care. Uh, so I, when I get home, I'll pop it up and get back in and start tracking and do all that stuff. It's, um, do. So Alicia, uh, thank you for being on Facebook just for this. That's pretty cool. Uh, Julie is here. Good to see you. Uh, Jeannie said it made sense. Good. Diane is out. She says, good night. Uh, enjoyed having you in the first time. Uh, yeah, so you're absolutely, and Donna shared it. So Donna, thank you for sharing it. I love, 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 love the fact that you guys share this for no other real reason and the, other than the fact that um, that I the emails that I get from people let me know that it's making a difference in their journey. And so that's the only reason I want you to share it is there's someone out there that needs additional resources and this is another resource that they can tap into. So. Uh, I see all of your shares and tags and, co and posts and stuff on Connect, and, and I really appreciate that. Um, yeah. I wonder if, Patty, I wonder if we need to, at some point, uh, let the podcast listeners know that we have a Word of the Day challenge. You know, I'll put it in the show notes. That's what I'll do. Um, at the very end of the show notes, I'll put Word of the Day Squirrel. But the other thing I want to be careful of, too, and I'm, I'm thinking this through live, so, you know, I don't know. The other thing I want to be careful with is I, I don't want it to become a distraction. You know, I don't want someone listening to the whole episode, and then at the end of the episode, they'll go, man, that was great. You said squirrel 15 times. I have no idea what you talked about, but you said squirrel 15 times, and that was really funny. Um, I want to make sure that the message is the priority, right? So uh, Aaron walked three miles today. Great job, for sure. Let's see. Where else are we? Um, yep. And so Marion said, just a thought, mention the word of the day in the, in the bottom line up front part. Yep. For sure. Can do that. Zucchini bread. Um, 
Yeah, Don, you, the, a lot of people say that the after show is better than the show. So uh, it's where we get to interact. And we get, I, I'll, I'll answer anything you throw out. And, and when I make it to the bottom, uh, I usually at that point give up and hang up. So I don't even know how far we are from the bottom right now, but, uh, but cool. Judy, that's a great point. When you're out of points, turn on Facebook. Listen to Fat Dag. When you're out of points, listen to a previous episode. I wonder if I need to make a... Um, I wonder if I need to make an episode that's like an emergency episode, you know? When you're out of points, click here. Uh, that would be kind of... And make, it's just a 10-second... I'm going to do that. Yeah, so I don't know, um, Donna, this little red dot on the screen, when we were playing with uh, Facebook, I can do... Um, I can draw on the screen, you know, like... I can do that. And somehow this red dot got put on the screen and when I go to delete everything it doesn't delete so um, so there was that uh, let's see close that out yeah so emergency episode let me see um, let's see I lost where I was I lost my place um, Oh no! There it is. Um, so Denise said, "Yeah, put the squirrel challenge on the Facebook so in the show notes." So I'm going to do that um, next time. We have to do five squirrels every time you say the word. Oh, five squats. So there we go. Yeah, yeah. So if I that's a great. That's it. Every time I say the word, you guys have to do. You have to pick your own exercise. I'll let you pick your own exercise, but you have to do one set of whatever you determine. Great. I have to write that down because I'll forget that. W O D equals one set of your choice. And then you can even owe them to me at the end of the show because um, I don't, again, I don't want you then leaving the show to go do your squats and then come back. So thanks for that, Denise. Um, so Angie, no, it's not, you know, it depends on, depends on how you, how you able, are able to manage your own journey. Um, I'll be honest with you. When I go on vacation, I, I, I am very mindful, but I don't track. And I'm going to enjoy what I'm there for, and then I'm going to come home. But I've committed without fail to come home and get right back into it. And, and I know I have the willpower to do that. I've proven to myself that I can go on a vacation. I can come back here. I can step on the scale the next morning, and then I can accept with it. You know, I think one time it was a 9 or 10-pound gain. I accepted it, and then I just continued working the plan, and it ended up taking me about a week to get it back off. You know, so so no. So what you have to do, you have to find a way you can sustain this for life. And if I told you that you're going to go on vacation and you're never going to be able to enjoy any of the food down in the whatever vacation spot you're going to, then then you would quit doing this plan because it's too restrictive. So there's no, it's not even a slip up. It's a purposeful deviation, is what I'm going to call it. So. Um, let's see. Brandy says, uh, so Brandy, you hopped on, so you got on the scale and you're up with retention, but you, yeah, you're on plan. Boom. Cool. So Suzanne said, um, Suzanne says, uh, Facebook live is a great bonus for you. It is. Yep. It's fun. Uh, and it, cause I want you to keep focused. So first time you feel like you're making real progress. So Suzanne, keep up the real progress. A little bit of progress makes a lot of work when you keep going, so uh, keep going. How about only on Fun Friday? That's a good idea too, Susan. So the word of the day is only on the Friday episodes. I like that. I'll write that one down too. Marianne's going to yep working tomorrow morning, so uh, thank you for the being here. Um, let's see. I saw one other comment. Here we go. Beth Ann asks, what, uh, what effect has your journey had on your kids? Um, you know, I, I don't know. Hey, Megan, you want to answer this question? Come here. This is going to be fun. Because she has no idea. Come here for a second. So someone's asking me a question that I don't know the answer to. The question is, what effect has my weight loss journey had on you? Do I have to 
answer I need to give him? Yeah, come answer. Come sit with me. Come sit. Yep. You're so special. Oh, so special. I'm so special. Okay. Like what? Like what do you? So mean? it's right here. It says, "What effect has your journey so had on your kids? kids?" Your kids. I only have one oh. kid. Kids. <laughs> <laughs> it just makes us eat. It makes mom and I eat healthier. But and you, you mom ate healthy anyways, is that right? Yeah, but I eat healthier. Like I don't eat like four bags of popcorn a day. You're down to three. No, I'm down to zero. Cool. It just makes it forces us to eat healthier. Why is that? You think? Because you make me feel bad if Are I'm not know? eating healthy. <laughs> yes, I'm nervous. <laughs> I just got home. I know you've been out. How was the fair? It was fine. What'd you eat at the fair? Nothing. Nothing? I didn't eat or drink anything. Nothing? You didn't drink anything? No, I was waiting to come down so I could drink so I didn't interrupt your podcast. Oh, uh, that's so funny. Um, you have a red dot on your chin because I don't know how to get it off the screen. What is it? A red dot right there. See it? Can everyone else see it? Yeah, everyone can see it. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Um, so anyway, so what other, what other effect? Did you, we do more exercise a little bit sometimes? Have you been going to the gym more? Mm-hmm. Mom made me wake up at like eight every day to go to the gym for like a week and then we gave up. And then you gave up through to that. So, is it more fun? Am I more fun to be around or no? Yeah, you're less cranky. <laughs> less cranky? Mm-hmm. Hey, we should probably script this next time so I tell you what to say. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous. So, uh, so, Beth, hopefully that answered your question. Let's see. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of. Let's see what else is here. I'm going to make an emergency episode. We talked about that. What's that? Eastern time zone. Um. Yeah, let's see. So Terry's asking me, what I can I explain what I'm talking about when I talk about the rule of thirds? Uh, so Terry, real quick, what I talk about when I do the rule of thirds is I take my daily points, divide them by three. So just for simple math, let's say you get 30 dailies. Then I say 10, 10, and 10. And then so if I go off track in the middle of the day and I completely blow the day, then I try and have my dinner to be back into the rule of thirds, which is 10 points. So that's the rule. Rather than saying I'm I'm done for the day, I've already blown it, just to go free crazy. At that point, I go. So you know what? A normal dinner is about ten points. That's a third of my day for food. I'm going to eat, uh, try and get back on plan quickly by using the rule of thirds. Is what I say. Um, so the emergency episode. The emergency episode. If I do an emergency episode, it'll only be available in the app. Uh, so if you don't have the app, then you won't be able to get it. You have to have the app because I can put it in a special place in the app. Um, so Tracy says, love the show. Thanks for the daily motivation. Um, emergency episode. Emergency. Everyone likes that. Good night, family. Glad I was able to catch the live broadcast and get your fat dag fixed. Thanks for being here. Um, Denise, let's see. Yeah, so Angie, just go and own it. You'll be all right. Uh, let's see. At some point. So what happens, Megan, is that all the comments when you were chatting are down at the bottom and we're getting there. So Colby, thanks for being here. Linda, good night to you. Um, Susan says we way to stay focused. We stay focused when you're watching, which is cool. Then there you go. Denise says, "Yay, Megan." Yay. And she, misses she misses you. No, she doesn't miss me. She was out with her friends. So Donna says hi. hi. Alicia says hi. Um, let's see. There we go. Hi. Megan is so beautiful. Aww. Aww. It's Thank the camera. You. It's the camera. It's a really nice camera. <laughs> it is. It's an iPhone. <laughs> right. Um, Denise says she's so cute. She be, yeah, yeah, yeah. She is super awesome. Thank you. Oh, there's Ma. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi, Nanny. Hi, Nanny. Yeah. She's playing with the dog right now. Yeah. Ann says, yeah, she laughed. At, that's cranky. Mm -hmm. um, yep. So Donna's like, this is the end of the, you get the extra scenes, the bonus footage. Uh, Donna says, and you guys, they all like you. And then mom even tuned in. Do you see, see that? You should have me more often. I should. I should. We'll get more people watching. Mm -hmm. um, Paula says, thanks for sharing your dad. Uh, yeah, children rock. Um, very cool. Very, and thank you for that. Let's see. There you go. So jo uh, Johanna says, thanks for your input. It gives her hope as to what you'll do to encourage your son to make better choices. That's the whole reason we do this, right? That's the whole reason we share this whole journey is so that we can make a difference in other people's lives. So very cool. Ah, we broke the chair. Do you want me to get up? Nope. 
It's okay. like sinking. Ah! It's sinking. The chair is sinking. All right, hop up. <laughs> Let me fix it. Cool. Thanks, Meg. You're welcome. Go eat. Bye. Yeah, so uh, Kathy, I'm going to put um, – Kathy said I no longer says I hope. I say I will. I will put that on um, – the thing I got on – oh, it's on my iPhone. I'll put it on Facebook after the show. Give me about five minutes. I'll put a thing about hope on Facebook that I want you to read. Uh, Kirby and I got into a disagreement. I love Kirby. Uh, but we got into a discussion on the difference between hope and not hope. And so I found something that I shared with him, and it made sense. So – Colleen, thanks for that. Um, Walter, thank you for that. Alicia says she scans food at the store. Um, yeah, that's exactly it. Megan does the same thing. She's like, Dad, how many points do you have left? She asks me that at least a couple times a week, how many points I have left. Um, so very, very cool. Yep. Um, so Squirrel and Family Day. Yeah, Director's Cut. Uh, very cool. Patty, thank you. Thank you. Cool. Cool. Hey, we made it to the bottom so that means uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. Um, do we'll, should we end with a plank? We, is there enough people here to – will you plank with me if I plank? That's up to you guys. All right. I'm going to go ahead and uh, end on a plank. We'll go – let's go do this here. Unplug that. Yeah, so we got the we got we got the fixed. We got the uh, figure out how to reverse the camera. So, all right, here we go. <clears throat> Actually, I'm due for um, it's my push-ups, so I'm gonna do some push-ups instead, and then I'll plank after. But I gotta get some push-ups in this. I haven't done any tonight. All right, end it with a end it with a plank. I forgot to tell you that this morning, uh, Friday is my strength training day, so I already did my strength training this morning, so I'm a little beat, but, all right, let's bring it in here. Uh, thank you for, for being here. Thank you for being part of this journey. Thank you for staying focused so that we can uh, share this journey with other people. We can get more people to, to kind of stay engaged, stay focused. It takes focus. It takes discipline. Um, you have the ability to get this done. 
I believe you can do it. I wish you good focus. Good night.